All right, gentlemen, let's get started. As you know, I'm Dr. Phil Grenier from Air Force Space Command, and I am here to brief you about the two birds we lost last night. As you know, space surveillance is one of the major missions of Air Force Space Command. Uh, we catalog all the civilian and military items in orbit for a number of applications. Uh, we have sensors all over the United States and in a number of participating foreign countries. What is with PowerPoint in these transitions? Uh, anyway, we, we have a number of sensors both under the command of the U.S. and contributing from foreign countries, but the most important one here is our MSX satellites. These birds in orbits let us do surveillance from space on the other items in space. I didn't even know PowerPoint could do that. But anyway, um, a lot of reasons to do this. The, the birds in space can access anything in space. They're never affected by weather because they're above it, and, and no need to uh, rely on any of our allies. The Iridium incident, it, as you know, is already in the news. Uh, it's a pretty serious issue. They have 66 satellites in orbit, and they lost one of them last night. Here we go. Let me see if I can get this movie playing. This was captured by one of our MSX satellites. There we go. All right, so there we go. So, so this is the Iridium bird in orbit, captured from one of our MSX observation satellites. There we go. Right there's the impact. After the impact, the MSX closes range on the item that it impacted the satellite as it becomes clearer and clearer what it impacted until we finally lose communications with the MSX satellite. So in conclusion, once again, we have spacecraft lofts to collisions with vehicles from a 1970s science fiction show. We lost an Iridium communication satellite and MSS, MSX observation satellite. So standard operating procedures for the, these cases are that we are going to say that the commercial satellite ran into a disabled Russian satellite. The Russians are on board with this. I talked to them an hour ago. Uh, and we're going to deny that any, any MSX satellite was involved in this incident whatsoever. And that pretty much wraps up what we're going to do in this case. Any questions? Yes, Mr. Jones. Yeah, okay, good question. Um, <laughs> kind of personal question, but no, I, I don't find any of this disturbing. Uh, since the incident with the Discovery running into the reindeer during re-entry, uh, <laughs> none of this personally bothers me at all. Uh, although I have to say, when I first got into this business, I, I was very, very shocked uh, when these things started happening, particularly the, the first incident with the Apollo mission. Uh, next question. Yet, you, you don't know about the, the Apollo mission with the... All right, well, you know, I've got the video here. I'll put it now that you all know. Uh, one second. Here it is, and let's watch. I think it's pretty self-describing. This is the, the view from the Apollo mission looking back on Earth. 